I hope that as the country emerges from the current lockdown and as um, there, there is, a, 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 as there should be an urgent, um, very, very hard look by this building into what went wrong and why in 2020, one of the most obvious lessons of that um, is this problem. It's the incredible value potentially in getting science and technology stuff right. The disaster that can come if you if you, if you don't get it right. Um, all, but also, uh, I would encourage people to think about. Uh, you know, it, it's not coincidental that the vaccine program worked the way that it did. Um, it's not coincidental that to do that we had to take it out of the, D the Department of Health. We had to have it authorised very directly by the Prime Minister and say, strip away all the normal nonsense that we can see is holding back funding in the therapeutics. You said we, we took it out of the Department of Health. Who was who we? Well, in the sense that number 10 took it out of the Department of Health back in... Back in. So in, 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 spring, in spring 2020, you had a situation where the Department of Health was just a sort of smoking ruin in terms of procurement and PPE and, uh, and, and all of that. Um, uh, you had serious problems with the funding bureaucracy for therapeutics on COVID. So that was the kind of context for it. Patrick Valenstein came to number 10 and said, this shouldn't be run out of the Department for Health. We should create a separate task force. Um, we also had the EU proposal, which uh, looked like um, uh, just an absolute guaranteed programme to fail debacle. Uh, and therefore, Patrick Valence, the Cabinet Secretary, me and some others said, uh, obviously we should take this out of the Department for Health, obviously we should create a separate task force, and obviously we have to empower that task force directly with the authority of the Prime Minister. Uh, um, uh, you know, at that time as well, you had some very smart people saying, um, uh, people like Bill Gates saying, don't do this in a normal way. Start building, uh, like the Apollo program actually, exactly like that. Learn the lessons from that concurrency. So start building things like the supply chains and the manufacturing capability now before you do, you know, normally this is a kind of sequential thing, you figure things out and then you do tests and then you do manufacturing and distribution and everything else. What Bill Gates and a lot of other people said was just try and smash all of these different things to, together and try and do them and uh, uh, try and do them in parallel. Um, but to do that, you needed to have a different structure. Well, we look forward to going into more detail in that in part of our lessons learned inquiry um, with the Joint Committee with uh, Health and Social Care. Uh, on the science funding system as we have it, let me turn now to some of my colleagues, uh, starting with Chris Clarkson. Thank you, sir, and uh, thank you for coming today.